All right. We are doing a video, not so much on these bottles, because I'm pretty sure I've already done reviews on these bottles, but we, we could do a partial recap. That's nice. It keeps rolling away. I wonder if my floor is level. Good God. It's obviously not. Anyways. That's what we're doing a review on. Or I don't even know if I'm doing a review. I'm just going to talk about this crap. So what these two are is, uh, that's the 40-ounce uh, Summit by Simple Modern. I just threw these uh, big handles on because it's easier. But they got different lids, sippy cups, straw cups, cups, whatever, sippy lids, whatever. Um, I prefer this guy because it closes the actual edge. Something about getting junk on the edge when you're drinking makes me feel kind of weird. Why am I losing my screen? I lost my screen. Um, I'll do this blind. This one is the 32 ounce Ascent. The lid goes inside, leaving edge always exposed. So, do as you wish with that. But the thing that's interesting is they're both the same footprint. So what we got here, this is the Hydro Shark. Man, I really wish I could get my screen to come up. But it won't do it. So, man, this is going to be difficult. So I'm doing this completely blind. Unless I can touch my GoPro and get the screen to come up on that. And I got shaky camera syndrome. Ugh, sorry about that. So it's a Hydro Skin. Uh silicone and this oh you guys ready for this hydro flask now here's the secret hydro flask costs more than simply modern but if you didn't notice their label is down low if you slide that just right your discount simply modern instantly becomes what a hydro flask <laughs> It just has a little bump protection on the bottom. Probably not the worst idea. Um, this one, I had these on before I started this. This one's really hard to get off. It really vacuums on there. So what I did is kind of peel the edge, get a little air in there, and whoop, right off. This one offers, obviously, a little more protection. Harder to get started, though. I'm not going to lie. But once you get it on there... It goes nowhere, huh? Oh, there it goes. So there you go on that. Gives you some grips. Hydro flask. And this guy. Ooh. Bam. I mean, I'm definitely going to use them. I mean. Not that I feel like these bottles are like super precious, but like, I like them. I use these bottles. Um, let's see how hard this one is to get off. Oh, he actually comes off pretty good. A little twist. Man, that one seals though. You ain't gonna lose that. Oh, you even got that little hydro flask on the bottom, the little symbol. I mean, I'm not a hydro flask, simple modern snob. I mean, the only reason I own these is because the place I bought them from had them on hand, and they were so cheap. Like, not quite free. So, I'm not going to say one's better than the other. I think the way it works in life is there's a perception based on marketing, based on cost. I.e., the more it costs, the better it is, right? So, I get, dude, this one is hard to get on, though. I'll tell you what. It's hard to get started. Because it's like the hole is a little smaller than, uh, there we go. Once you get it on there, it's a little little squishy in this section, so it doesn't want to, see how that, once you get past that, well, nothing happens apparently once you get past that. There we go. Kind of takes away from my sweet pattern I had on there, but. I mean, that's, it's pretty good protection. Oh, this has got a hole on the bottom, so it that's why it doesn't get vacuumed on. So that's interesting. I think this is obviously offering more protection. It's much thicker. I'd say that's darn tootin' twice as thick. I mean, I'm not going to do any measurements, but... 
Apparently it stops it from rolling. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how far I am on this video because I have no screens to look at. And I'm going to have to press the record button on the camera so it's going to shake and get loud because my stupid monitor broke. I ran out of batteries. Even though it's plugged in, it's kind of weird. So yeah, I like these. They keep my drinks cold. I don't... I actually have done coffee once, but I drank it before there was even a remote chance of it getting too unhot, so I'm not into the scientific, like, oh, let's measure how long. I mean, I make drinks, I drink them. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just real quick, for the video, I got that one. This is the one I use. This one fits in my cup holder, so he gets the most use, but he, I, you know, uh, that's the uh, 22 ounce. Just got a sippy cup lid on him right now. And I'm pretty sure I've done videos on all these. And then this one's kind of cool. Because uh, he happens to be exactly a half gallon. And I did, so, I did an adventure earlier this year and I was making Gatorade by the half gallon. 64 ounces. So I just make half gallon Gatorade and just bam take it with me. And I just had Gatorade to go for days. But obviously those don't fit, so that's my simply modern lineup. I actually got maybe like one or two more hiding someplace, but these are the only ones I really use. I use that one in my mule because it fits the cup holder. I use that one in my car because it fits my cup holder, and I use this one when I need a half gallon. This one I don't use very much because I don't know. I just don't like the only lid I have is this style lid, so when I want to drink from it, I have to undo that, and then I have to literally drink from that lip. It's just not for me. That's my lineup. Do what you wish with what you see. It won't stay. Where do you go, Hydro Flask? Fail. Whatever. Alright. Peace.